do I have a motion for section four approval of minutes? Do I have a motion to approve the August 11th, 2020 regular session minutes? So moved. Second. Will, all right, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right. All right. Uh, motions to direct the city manager to add agenda items to future agendas. Anybody? All right, great. Then let's go ahead and move on to Harold, your COVID-19 update. I'm sorry, Polly, did you wave your hand? Uh, yes. All right, Council Member Christensen. Okay. Okay. If you're, so right, so currently right now, pursuant to rules, the rules of procedure, we are accepting motions to direct the city manager to add agenda items to future agendas. Would you like to post something or propose a motion to put something on a future agenda item, not currently for discussion? Yes, I would like to, for the future, as soon as possible, to add to the agenda that we discuss the council rules of procedure. Perfect. Do we have a second? Sure, I'll second that. All right. The motion has been moved and seconded. It's now open for debate. Remember, Councilor Mar so if there's a motion on the floor. I don't see any other hands up. Let's go ahead and vote. The motion is to have a future discussion about council rules and procedures pertaining to the setting of agendas and augmenting the agendas. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. 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 All right. I didn't. Susie, how did you vote? I'm sorry. All right. So the the, the motion fails uh, five to two with council members Christensen and Peck against. All right. Thank you. Is there anything else that we'd like to do to direct the city manager um, to put on a, a future agenda? Seeing nothing, let's go ahead. Harold, now you can do your COVID-19 update. So I'm going to show you a couple of slides real quick just to continue keeping consistent um, uh, data coming forward. I'm not going to do as many as I normally do. So, so this is the information in terms of where we are at the state level. Um, you can see um, this peak that you were seeing earlier. Uh, the good news is we tend to be on that downward trend. Again, 20 to 29 year olds continue to be um, the highest number of cases that we have in Boulder County. Turned it down again. I think the thing that everybody's really watching in terms of the caseloads, and this is when you look at what we have in Longmont versus Boulder at 846, what's gonna happen in terms of the college students coming back? Um, I know that's been a, a significant uh, topic of conversation in the GIS and, and Marika's updates that she provides me and what they're looking at, they're still strongly recommending that city council stay in the, uh, city council and board meetings stay in the virtual format um, based on the caseloads. Uh, part, a lot of part of that, if you remember from the email was really talking about the fact that we're heading into fall, we're heading into flu season. Um, currently right now, they're also monitoring West Nile I think we were we had met four of the criteria and we had host and we were almost meeting another four. So we haven't met all of the criteria in terms of moving into um, protect our neighbors. So that's probably the big news that we have at this point. Um, if there's any questions generally about COVID and where we are and, and what we're trying to do, I'll be happy to answer those questions to save you all some time. So um, yeah, I have so with the protect our neighbor. Can, is, is it that counties can open to that level or does it have to be statewide? Counties or regions can open, can, can, can make the move in to protect our neighbor, but, and there's a but, the county can't do it unilaterally. The county has to get um, emergency managers, um, cities, so I would be involved in that conversation. So everyone has to come together and agree that you can move in to protect our neighbor. Um, okay, Harold, what else do you have for us? So uh, just based on what we have and the information from Jeff, I'm gonna continue as, as council, as we all talked about early on in this, listening to the public health director and taking that directive in terms of meetings. And then we'll be communicating with you all in terms of the, the um, recommendations that we're receiving from uh, the public health director.
let's go ahead and do first call public invited to be heard first. And then if you go ahead and mail that to me, we'll pick up that when we're, when we're done with first call. So I am part of a group called the Boulder County Collective, and we have a few demands talking about um, equity in our schools. Good evening, council members and Mayor Bagley. I am one person with two topics and three minutes, so I'll get right to it. First topic has to do with PRPA and our uh, plan, IRP, they call it, integrate. I'm calling in reference to the issue of investment properties being used as short-term rentals in Longmont. I am one of the 12 permitted residents who own one investment property that they are renting for short-term uh, Good evening, and thank you for letting me speak to you this evening. I have lived in the Longmont zip code for the past 11 years and have worked in the finance and investment field for over 40 years. I want to thank all of you for your work, and in particular, your commitment to a healthy lawn mark that is carbon-free and powered by renewable energy. And I, too, am um, a member, member within the Boulder County Collective and wanted to also communicate some demands because that's the world we live in. They're called demands, although we're not as um, strong with them, but we do want to see them happen. So thank you with that. Uh, so overall, study. We want a study that's commissioned by the city and paid for by the city that addresses race, gender, sexual orientation, equity within Longmont. Good evening, Mayor Bagley, council members. I'm here to again express concern regarding the traffic signal being installed at the corner of South Hawkins Street and Clake Road. I'm calling to support the renewal of Dr. Helmick's contract to continue our air quality monitoring in Longmont. My, I have, or I am part of the Boulder County Collective on the public safety team, and I have a few um, demands from us that I'd like to read. Firstly, um, right-size our policing force by reducing police responsibilities such as dealing with homelessness, mental health, and truancy, thus giving our men in uniform a break and allocating resources towards community services in a way that solves the issues versus criminalizes it. Secondly, Shift police oversight board into a public oversight board where there's transparency to those on it and the issues that they are addressing. Thirdly, start instituting a culture of transparency as it relates to all police use of force or arrest. I'm a member of the Boulder County Collective as a few of the other people who spoke before me are. Um, I would like to thank you all for opening the floor for discussion and I urge you to consider the following demands that we came up with as a collective. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I've been meaning to get to these meetings for a while, and I can thank my friend with the Boulder County Collective for helping me get here. Um, I'm with the Health and Wellness Department of the Boulder County Collective. For the health and wellness sector, I demand immediate allocation of significant COVID county and local dollars to go towards social services in long-term solutions. Dear Longman City Council and Mayor, my husband and I heard about the possibility of regulating short-term rentals to second properties. Even though we're extremely busy, I decided to call in and voice my objections. We just upgraded our rental property with hopes to rent it out for short-term tenants. We already invested tons of money and our own labor. The property is five minutes away from our house, and we have been working on it even in 10 weekends for the last year. Now we feel that the rug is being pulled out from under our seat. What is uh, I'm calling in to speak in favor of the charter change from 20-year to 30-year lease maximums. It's a total no-brainer to allow the city to do the same thing every other municipal government on the face of the earth does and make long-term commitments to nonprofits like HOPE or city-owned entities like PRPA. This is a minor change to the charter that will help Longmont recover from the recession. I think every resident of Longmont should vote for this. Also, um, my congratulations to Mr. Victor Vela, Ms. Marta Moreno, and the members of El Comité. Let's go ahead and move on to um, the redo on the uh, uh, special reports and presentations, a proclamation designating August 2020 as El Comité de Longmont Month in Longmont, Colorado. 
This is a proclamation designating August 2020 as El Comité de Longmont Month in Longmont, Colorado. Whereas August 14, 2020 marks the 40th year anniversary of a tragic event involving two Latino teens in the Longmont Police Department that inspired the creation of El Comité de Longmont, and whereas Latino community leaders Victor Vela and Marta Moreno founded El Comité de Longmont on November 26, 1980, and began work with the Department of Justice to advocate for the rights of Latinos and improve community relations with local law enforcement and the community at large. Now, therefore, I, Brian J. Bagley, Mayor, by virtue of the authority vested in me and the City Council of the City of Longmont, do hereby proclaim August 2020 as El Comité de Longmont Month in Longmont, and I encourage all residents of this great city to congratulate and recognize the incredible work and contributions to the community by El Comité de Longmont to promote and advocate for social justice and racial equality for the past 40 years. Signed, Mayor Bagley. Do we have Vic back? Okay, Vic, what do you have to say, sir? Yes, and Mayor Bagley and uh, City Council mm -hmm. and Mr. Dominguez and the City of Longmont I am honored for this uh, proclamation. I, I, I will accept this on behalf of all the other original founding members of El Comité back in 1980 and all other members that joined after that. If it wasn't for all, for all of them, it just wasn't Martha and I. It was, it was a lot, all of us combined to help make changes uh, in the police department. And I really feel so far, the police department with what the changes we did has helped so far, and I appreciate that. Mr. Vela, thank you again. Marta, do you have something to say? Yes, 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 yes. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Pass my bet none. <laughs> I really want to thank you, Bagby, and, and city council members, uh, Harold, for all you've done for this community. I've been glad being part of this community and, and enjoying uh, being part of the organization since its inception. It was really an honor to get the, the, the proclamation from, from you all and, and the count and, and the state also. And our, our flag, our flag, Victor got the, got the uh, United States flag and I got the Colorado flag, which was really an honor and grateful for my family, my husband, because without them, you know, a lot of times we can't do anything. But Vic has okay. one more thing to say. Oh, Vic, Bella. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mayor and City Council, if anybody that says on the road is Martha, you think of 30 years, but uh, imagine how many families she's impacted through the 40 years of service that she's done to the Latino community and low-income families and immigrants. 30 years, that's a lot of years. How many... How many of us can say we've been on one job for 40 years? And how many of us can say how many families we, uh, that uh, she impacted and helped? That's a lot of years. I just wanted to recognize her for all that, Mayor. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and move on to the consent agenda. Uh, Don, can you read that for us, please? Um, item 10D um, is, the, is the second reading that actually formalizes putting that on the ballot. Should we wait to pass the resolution to encourage people to vote for it until after we formally voted to put it on the ballot? We, we can't, we're not, allowed to, we're not allowed to comment once it's on the ballot is my understanding. Eugene, are you there? So I think uh, Council Member Waters raises a good point. I thought about it too, that until the ordinance submitting the matter to the ballot is approved, that we shouldn't be uh, voting on the resolution urging voters. So if you wanted to pull that off, uh, the count, uh, first reading, do second reading, come back, that would make uh, procedural sense. All right, do we have a second on the consent agenda or we just gotta move on? All right, great. It's been, it's been moved and seconded by Council Member Waters, or I second and the Council Member Waters second. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay.
right, looks like we're all back. So let's go ahead and move on to ordinances on second reading and public hearings on the following matters. First of all, item 10A, ordinance 2020-30, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for expenses and liabilities in the city of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2020. I'll move approval of uh, ordinance 2020-30. Second. All right, it's been moved uh, by Council Member Waters, seconded by, it sounds like Council Member Martin. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. All right, 10B, Ordinance 2020-31, a bill for an ordinance amending titles 4.04, 4.05, and 6.08 of the Longmont Municipal Code on sales and use tax, lodger's tax, and retail business licenses, and creating a new code, section 4.04.105, for the purpose of enacting the Colorado Municipal League's model ordinance as a model ordinance on economic nexus and reg, uh, economic cessus, economic nexus and regular session August 25, 2020, page three, marketplace facilitators for self-collecting home rule municipalities as part of a statewide sales tax simplification effort. And it's not. So let's go ahead and vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, the motion cap passes unanimously. Uh, 10C, Ordinance 2020-32, a bill for an ordinance amending Title 6.08 of the Walmart Municipal Code on Retail Business License. Any questions from Council? All right, seeing none, let's go ahead and open it to public hearing. Nobody's on the approval of 2020-32. All right, I'm going to go ahead, uh, Councilor Peck uh, moved it. I'm going to take your second motion. Dr. Waters is a second. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. Ordinance 2020-33, Section 10D, a bill for an ordinance submitting to the registered electors of the City of Longmont, Colorado. Actually, yes. Uh, a bill for an ordinance submitting to the registered electors of the City of Longmont, Colorado at a special municipal election to be held on November 3rd, 2020. An amendment to the City of Longmont Home Rule Charter to allow for the lease of city property for up to 30 years. All in favor? Move approval of, uh, of Ordinance 2020-33. I'll second okay. that. Oh, actually, I'll let my Council Member Martin second it. Moved by Dr. Waters, seconded by Council Member Martin. Um, uh, seeing no further debate, let's go ahead and vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, uh, the motion passes unanimously. All right, nine aye, resolution 2020-86, a resolution to Longmont City Council urging Longmont citizens to vote yes in the ballot issue approving a change to the city's charter to allow for 30 year leases of city property on November 3rd, 2020 coordinated election ballot. So do we have a motion, Dr. Waters? Well, I'll, I'll move approval. All right, I'll second. second. All right, it's been moved by Dr. Waters, seconded by Council Member Martin. Let's go ahead, not seeing nobody else, let's go ahead and vote. Um, the motion before us is resolution 2020-86, um, uh, a resolution of Longmont City Council urging Longmont citizens to vote yes in the ballot issue and approving will change the city's charter to allow for 30 year leases of city property on the upcoming coordinated election ballot. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Nay. All right, so the motion carries six to one with uh, Councilmember Christensen opposed. <music>General Business, 12A, Resolution 2020-87, a resolution along with City Council ordering a notice of public hearing on petition to establish the LFM Business Improvement District. Harold? Good evening, uh, Mayor Bagley, members of Council. So this item has been brought to your attention. It's in regards to the City's receipt of a uh, request or a petition to create what is known as a Business Improvement District, which is allowed under state statute. Uh, it's also referred to as a BID, if you're familiar with that. Uh, it's being proposed for an area of the city, uh, a parcel of land that is on Hover Street, just north of Rogers Road, and actually immediately to the north of Home Depot. It's currently vacant. Um, so a little bit about the BID in terms of what's allowed or not allowed. Uh, by the way, uh, I've covered all this information in the report. I'm going to be glad to ask, uh, answer any questions per the report, but give you a brief review. So basically, the statute requires that upon receipt of a completed petition 
to the city, the matter has to be set for a hearing by the city council no less than 20 days or more than 40 days after it is received. So we did receive all the organizational documents and operating plan. And as of August 7th, upon receipt of a $5,000 deposit to help us cover some of the external costs with its processing, the applicant or the petitioner fulfilled the requirements under state statute. And I think the question is, why are we asking and petitioning city council for a business improvement district? Uh, as Tony uh, accurately pointed out, a business improvement district is just that. It's for business, it's for commercial, it does not involve uh, residential property. Residents are not in any way taxed for this. It's a difficult piece of property. And I, I, uh, I um, congratulate you for being brave enough to take it on. Can you, I, I can't see all of your, the name of your company. It just says Russ Dykstra Partners Spins. It's Spencer Fain. We're, we're a law firm. We specialize in, in special districts and business improvement oh. districts. Okay. All right. Um, that's all I had to do. I think we should set up the meeting as, because that's the law and go ahead, move ahead with that. Second it. I'm going to move resolution 2020-87, a resolution of Longmont City Council ordering a notice of public right hearing and petition to establish the LFM business improvement district. Thank you, Mayor Bagley. Yes, I second it. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right. The motion carries unanimously. Thank you, Mr. Dykstra. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to the Boulder Air contract renewal. And so um, it looks like Dr. Turner's here. Uh, Harold, is she up? I'm Jane Turner. I'm the City of Longmont's Oil and Gas and Air Quality Coordinator, and I'll be presenting tonight on the proposed Boulder Air contract renewal, which staff is bringing before Council on behalf of the City Manager under Purchasing Code 4.12.080. Council directed staff to contract Boulder Air Services starting in April of 2019. One year later, in April of 2020, the contract was extended to August 31st, 2020, and that extension was made to account for additional time that was needed to find locations to install the monitoring equipment at the beginning of the study. The first statement in task three is that Boulder Air will provide the city with written notice of publications and or public presentations. Where the next statement asks Boulder Air to inform the city of any communications the consultant has with journalists or media regarding analysis or interpretation of the city's data by the end of the day in which the statement is made. The motion that I will call on everybody whose hands raised, the motion that's on the floor was to instruct and direct the city man or the city attorney's office to put into the contract, and Eugene, you can put whatever language you need to, but the city shall not deny the use of the data without council's approval. Was that your motion, Councilmember Martin? That was my motion, and I would entertain a friendly amendment to take out right. the council approval. So it, it has been it has been seconded, and now we can go ahead and move on. So I apologize. I don't know. I guess I don't know how to work the equipment. Um, I believe it was Councilmember Peck first. We'll go with Joan. We'll go with Tim. Okay, thank you, uh, Cal Councilwoman uh, Martin. Thank you for that. That was exactly what I was going to ask, but I want to go if you'll take a friendly amendment to go a bit further and take that whole paragraph out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call the question. It's not debatable, let's just vote. We need five. If we get five, we vote on the original motion and we're done. All in favor of calling the question and voting, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, it passes unanimously. Let's go ahead and vote. The motion is to accept the contract, directing the city, uh, city attorney's office to uh, alter the contract language so that uh, the city cannot deny uh, use of the data unless that denial is approved by city council. Is that correct, Councilor Martin? No, actually, it it it, it applies it, in paragraph one. It applies only to publications and presentations based on the data, and does not apply to transfers of the data to another researcher, which is covered in later paragraphs. Okay, thank you for the clarification. All right, let's go ahead and vote on the motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. All right, the motion carries six to one with uh, Dr. Waters dissenting. Thank you, guys. 
All right, let's move on to 12D, board appointment to the water board to fill a recent vacancy. All right, I move Scott Holwick. Second. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. All right, uh, the ayes have it unanimously. Thank you very much. All right, 12C, Climate Action Task Force recommendations. Mayor Bagley, members of council, I'm Annie Noble, Environmental Services Manager in Public Works and Natural Resources. And I'm filling in tonight for Lisa Knobloch. She recently had a baby. Um, tonight, we are bringing the recommendations of the Climate Action Task Force back to you and requesting direction on their implementation. So in October, 2019, council passed a resolution declaring a climate emergency and convened a group um, of community members that are subject matter experts to put together a report with recommendations on how to address the climate crisis. This group was called the Climate Action Task Force. Before we get into the recommendations of the Climate Action Task Force, I wanted to show you this diagram of Longmont's 2019 greenhouse gas emissions, which did so the Climate Action Task Force identified 27 recommendations that fall into these six topic areas. So following the July 7th council meeting, some council members provided written comments to staff regarding the implementation of the Climate Action Task Force recommendations. Those council members had expressed support of incorporating the approved recommendations into Envision Longmont and the sustainability plan and of the sustainability board having oversight of the implementation of these recommendations, with the projects and programs being incorporated into the work plans of the appropriate work group within the city. So this is a list of all of the recommendations and um, I just wanted to open it up for discussion and questions and get direction on which recommendations you would like to move forward. So, Okay, so what we're proposing is that staff conduct an evaluation on all the approved recommendations and look at the costs and look at the greenhouse gas emission reductions and look at the resources that are needed in the timelines. Yeah. So I move that we make that amendment. I honestly believe that the staff will arrive at an equitable formula as they begin their analysis, but I'd like to formally sanction that. All right, if that was actually a motion to basically direct staff <laughs> to, to follow a cost-benefit analysis and all 27 yeah. of those items, I will second it. Let us Thank vote. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the motion carries unanimously. All right, so Harold brings back a list of priorities based on a cost-benefit analysis along with the, the, the items that Ms. Noble so eloquently described to us, please. Council Thanks, Mayor Bagley. I, 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 I think uh, we voted on an amendment on item 12B. Oh, you're right, you're right. We never, we never voted on the contract. Yes, you texted we me. An amendment to the contract. So yes. I, I move approval of the contract as amended, presented in item 12B. Thank you, Dr. Waters. I'll second that. So all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, the contract is approved unanimously. Thank you, Dr. Waters. Good catch. All right. Uh, Uh, can we have a motion to adjourn, please? So move. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. All right, great. We'll see us same bat channel, same bat time next week. All right, later, guys. Bye.